Welcome to my world. Today we're going to take care of my top freezer. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. We're going to take everything off of that, go through it, put it onto paper, what's in it. I don't even know what's in it. It's been up there for a while. Bins are a wonderful thing to organize with, but if you don't use your bins properly, you're not going to know what's in them. I don't label because my family doesn't read the labels. They just put them wherever. Now, since these are high up, I should label, because then I'll know what's in them. So we're gonna take care of this and rectify the situation. Remove everything, go through it, sort it, discard anything that is expired, or if I have too much of, we'll donate to the senior center. And we're gonna wipe down the top of the freezer as well. Wood we'll start. I'm going to remove the green buckets first and work our way down. No real zoning except for maybe removing, going through, sorting, writing down, and categorizing. And we're going to try to consolidate as much as possible so it goes on to my silver shelves that you see a small glimpse of to the left of the screen. recently updated my pantry shelves, wrote everything down, and put it in my email. And I didn't even know I had these. Great for dinner kit ideas. Northern beans. White rice, yellow rice, and dollar twenty-five at the dollar store. Two something at Walmart. And I'll be updating my phone with everything in it. And a notebook. I'm going to write down yellow rice. One. Pinto. One. Northern. Two. One. Long brain. One. I have two generic Nors. I'm going to put broccoli cheddar. You can take this with leftover chicken or canned chicken, whatever you have, and a bag of florets and make a delicious casserole. Add a layer of crushed saltines or potato chips, and you got a dinner. I have two different types of mashed potatoes, the Idaho and Betty Crocker, your real potatoes, two mashed, got some Pop-Tarts, 
I got three of these. I need to use them up. And pop tarts. I have another box on top of the marshmallows, so I have one box and two, four, six, eight pop tarts. Eight opened box one box so I know that's opened anything that's out of whack takes the time to just straighten it out I'm just going to get new because I don't know what's there I want to use the generic ones first. The Norse are pretty new. They're a great side or a great main course to add on any delicious meal. I have my beans in here, my noodles in here, and rice, instant rice. I'm going to move my quick breads to the other cabinet. Turn that a little further. And Velveeta's. I can update to six. If you use your deluxe for a kit dinner and you don't use the packet, keep it with your other spices and packets for another meal. It's like having a bonus pack. Stock of spaghetti and pasta. I need to find a way to really control this. I know I have one rigatoni. I got five spaghettis, one bow tie, so on and so forth. And I just found some boxes of more pasta. And some more deluxes. Deluxes are awesome to keep on hand. They should be a pantry staple. It's the deluxe mac and cheese or the generic version of it. Both equally good. Dollar Tree carries it. Mm -hmm. And it's delicious. I've used it many times for things. Better meal planning starts with better pantry organization. You can't meal plan efficiently if you don't know what you have. I don't think that's going to be suitable for this.
get a lot of the noodles at Dollar Tree. box of bow ties and two extra boxes of macaroni and that's great because I want to make a beefy macaroni soup. It's five ingredients and I took the recipe and I modified it to my likings. So I'm going to write down bow tie I have a thin spaghetti and a box of shells. I love that half spaghetti is ingenious. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. It's already inventoried. So are the shells. Got the macaroni here. Pin. And rigatoni, bow ties, and then the spaghetti group together. So, in some reason, we have an open bag of egg noodles. I'm very sad about that. I put the bagged pasta here, and I have two deluxes. That's already inventoried. So now I'm down to one. And when I go into my phone later, I'll change that to one. And then I'm going to add deluxe. Two. I thought I had three, but I have two. That's all rice and beans. If you want to label it, go ahead. I can see what's in it. My family doesn't really eat that. My teenager occasionally. They loved the black bean burgers that I made. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Alright. Back to the table. Focused on this end here where my hand is. I have to get into this soot cage. I'm saving that soap for the winter time. These can go into the middle pantry with the popcorn. The marshmallows are not anywhere near expiration yet. This is expired. We've got another apple pie filling I didn't even know I had. And I have a Dunkaroos frosting when Dollar Tree carried it. Plus I have three jellos, two pudding and one powder. The Dollar Tree's been carrying these. Again, they never carried this, just the already made ones, as well as the jello. But if you look in their baking area, they have these in their new larger sizes. These are great for poke cakes, both of them. snack area for my tween. These are some of her favorites. So if she can't save mom, there's nothing to eat or snack on. That's going to go to the Walmart empties video and the Dollar Tree empties video. They have full-size boxes of fruit snacks now. Went from four to six. And these are pretty comparable to the Pop-Tart brand, the Toast Stones. Also purchased at Walmart, Dollar Tree.
I know these are good because I recently bought them. This is for my holiday baking. A stockpile on the vanilla. I don't spend money on real vanilla because I just can't afford it. It's very expensive and pricey. Dollar Tree carries a 30 count of these bland cubes and it's a really great buy for our starter pantry. And looky here, add on one more. And save your sprinkles bottles because they now have these in a larger size for your ice cream and cookies. And tea bags are delicious and they're useful around the house. Spiders are afraid of them. If you're afraid of spiders, tuck them in your cupboards, behind couches, furniture, wherever a spider may live, behind your washer and dryer, and you'll solve your spider problem. If you have a beautiful yard where you can plant fresh mint, do that. We're never going to drink this. This is going to go to the senior center. And this is going to go downstairs for the winter when I get my new feed. I keep cards on hand, and I buy these on clearance and I stockpile them. I like the little spoons that they have in them. I have a few on hand. My kids still like to call her eggs, especially with my teenager. These are the extra items that we found from me to update my phone later. I'm going to show you a final view of everything that we did. And we consolidated everything and got everything off at the top of my freezer. What are you? should always remove five to ten items. All of this is going to go up to the senior center. And we met our goal. I'm going to double bag it though because those are pretty flimsy bags from the Dollar Tree. Let's take a look at what we did. Nothing on top. Consolidated. Downsized, decluttered, removed items. I know everything on that shelf. We made this about six months ago. I think I had everything to make that soup I wanted to make. The macaroni soup. I have the paste. I have sauce. I have diced tomatoes. I have beef in my freezer. And I have produce in my refrigerator that I can use. Plus my spices on hand. I have two dinner kit ideas. I have that chicken alfredo pen. And then I have the elbow macaroni beefy soup. And I went through and counted all these, found more peas, potatoes, and I lined them all up on their sides to maximize the space. And if, as I get more, I can fill it up. If you're new, don't forget to smash on that subscribe board for more great pantry organization completely free organization by using what you have on hand rather than going to the store and buying for better meal planning for you and your family to have that meal planning board ready to go and your meal ideas turning in your head make dinner kits as you see this bag down here that is chicken and pen back to school is coming plan accordingly plan your busy nights out so you are efficient for the fall and can free up use your crock pot an air fryer whenever you can because it saves you time in the kitchen to spend more time with your family. You'll be happier and healthier and depression will slowly fade away by being organized and stay on top of your organization. It's not going to stay this way. It gets out of hand quickly, especially when you have a family or even if you're single and you're always in and out of it and don't pay attention to what you're doing. We have giveaways. All that information is in my description box down below. We give away gift cards every 100 subscribers. We're looking for 20 people for one five items prize pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. Must be subscribed and a U.S. resident. My email is countryboots1268 at yahoo.com. If you have any questions or need any help with organization, or go to the Facebook page and send a message that way, and please like the page. Thank you for watching.